Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Antonise, and you are here on Antonise.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to all my a list Hey, girl, hey. And if you are new, hello, how are you? Now, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and you can be a part of this too. Y'all, we going to New York. We going to New York. Y'all, I've never been to New York before. I've only been to New York for layovers, but like, outside, on the streets, walking around, I have never been to New York before, so I'm so excited. It is currently 11 o'clock on Monday, May 13th, and we're leaving for New York in the morning at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. So I'm trying to, and guess what? We only going for, we only going for like 11 or 12 hours. So we're going right to New York and right back. Right, okay. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to, I mean, which person stuff I'm going to pack, what I'm going to pack to take with me and all that because I'm not technically packing because I'm coming right back. We're going to eat and come back. We're going to eat and come back. Like this is, this is the life that I dreamed of for myself just to be able to pack up and go. Or not pike up and go and come back when I get ready. Like, so, I'm so excited for this. Let's get to it. Um, I need to figure out, like, what purse I'm going to carry because I don't want to be, like, carrying a lot of stuff because we're not getting a hotel or nothing. So, whatever I take, you just stuck with it all day. But I have a little book bag in mind. I think it's going to work. So, let's grab that and see what we can do with it. Talk about that. We could talk about this. Talk about that. We could talk about this. Talk about that. All right, y'all. So this is the little book bag that I plan to take, and I know it looks small. I know it looks small, but it really can hold a good little bit of stuff. This is my regular purse that I've been carrying, so I'm just gonna take stuff out of my regular purse. Got my light broke. I break so many of these lights, so it just do not make sense. Okay. Stuff always getting broke in my purse, like. It's so elevated. And I'm just grabbing out the stuff that I think I'm going to need. Um, like my wallet. My little portable phone charger here. Um, me a little sponge. I'm going to put on some makeup in the morning. But it's not going to be nothing too heavy. But I am... Gonna do a little something, something, cause you know I'm gonna be taking pictures and things. So I need to make sure I look nice, you know. I got a little cash. Cash, I got twenty five dollars. Got some cash. What else in here I need? Oh, just a clip for my light for my phone. But I think it's broke. Yeah, that's definitely broke. That's definitely broke. So I'm gonna have to get me another one now. I'm gonna just take that on out my purse. It's just stuff that's be breaking. I think this is the other piece to it. Girl, stuff no, it just, it just get tore up in this purse. So this is the bag. I have to take floss. With these veneers, I have to have floss. So we're gonna take floss. We're gonna take hand sanitizer. We're gonna take lip gloss, portable charger, sponge, both cell phones. My wallet. I'm trying to make sure my ID and my cards is in my little wallet thing here. Then I'm gonna stick my cash right in here too. Is cash already in here? That would be nice. We'll take out anything that I don't necessarily need. Oh, my child support card. Y'all got $169 on that child support card. And I won't spend it because y'all know if you've been here, my kid's dad was murdered a few months ago. And I just, the thought of that I never get child support again, I just don't want to spend that money off that card. That's my cards I need. Yeah, I'm a, I always keep it with me though, just in case I need it. Cause baby, that 169 could come in handy, okay? So I always keep that card with me. Man, stick my little cash in here. So at least I will have some cash, you know? Okay, and that's all my cards. This little thing is heavy. Um, 
And I honestly think I'm gonna put my car. It's a little outside zipper. So I think I'm gonna put my car. Oh no, that won't fit. So nope. And then the only other thing that I wanna take is my um I'm gonna take a regular charger. Like a plug in the wall kind of charger. Like this. And I'm just See, a lot of stuff can fit in this look like I told y'all. Grow that up like that. And I'm going to put this right in here too. And we can let it go, y'all. And this way, if I want to carry it on my shoulder, if I want to carry it, you know what I'm saying, like different ways I could put it on. I don't know about it being no crossbody and all that, but y'all get what I'm saying. Oh, I can. I can let the straps out and let it be like a little crossbody. I can put it on my back. However I want to do it, I can. But it's not heavy. I can carry it in my hand like this if I want to. Just different things. So I think this is going to be the bag that we will be taking. Um, only other thing I need to get is some shades. I'm going to take my headphones too. I can never use my headphones. But it seems like when I need them, I'll never have them. So I'm putting them in there too. I'm just putting everything else up in my purse. My regular purse that I'll be leaving home. My cards that I took out that I don't need. I'm gonna put them in this purse. And y'all, I think that's it. So I'm gonna leave my purse home. I'm gonna get me some shades too to put in here. So I think that's it. This little stuff is heavy. I need to take this charger back out because I need to use it tonight. So I just wanted to make sure everything was in here and I'm also going to make sure that that portable charger is charged all the way up. Something is in the bottom of here and it is heavy. Is it the portable charger that's making it so heavy? No, nope, it wasn't that. I don't know. I guess all this little stuff just in combinations. But yeah, I'm going to charge this up and then I'm going to charge my phones up make sure they're good and charge. And yeah. Oh, I was supposed to see if the camera fit. Hold on. Alright, so y'all can fit. So I think I'm going to take out with me. Now, I'm wearing this shirt. It says this is my manifested shirt. And on the back it says rich off content. Now, I really want to wear these black joggers. But I think they're too little. That's why I ain't never worn them. Like they ain't too little, too little. But I think they kind of tight. When I'm thinking about them. And I think that's why. Yeah, like I don't like how. Like I can wear them. Can y'all see me? Y'all can't. So it don't really matter. I can wear them, but they fit me better not since I lost my weight. I can't tell I lost weight with these on. But they kind of tight on one of my legs. And I don't want nothing that's going to be uncomfortable on them. I, I don't want to wear nothing that's going to be uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, but I kind of like these. And they don't have like the elastic in the waist or nothing, so. Now this is me trying to act like I'm sitting down and stuff. Let's see if they gonna be. They actually feel pretty okay. Yeah, they actually do. Hold on, let me get some shoes. So I have these pink, black, and white ones. They're not really the same color pink as the shirt. But by the time, baby, you get down to my shoes, what is this on them? I gotta clean them out. By the time you get down to my shoes, they'll be just fine. These pants really just surprised me. To be honest, because I just knew they was out the question. I'm glad I'm trying them on. Okay, I need my shoes now. Y'all, I think this might be a vibe. Let me go look in the mirror up front. I'll be back. Y'all, I don't like it. And it ain't the pants. I don't think I like the black on black with the shirt and the pants. And I really want to wear the shirt. So. Next up, good old reliables. Yeah, these. Y'all, since I don't lost a couple pounds, these been kind of, they kind of big, but I can adjust them on the sides. But I ain't really been liking them because they look big. And I'll let y'all see tomorrow, of course, whatever I decide to wear. I'm just letting y'all kind of, I think this is going to be the look right here. It's like, girl, just, you just going to put the unfatigued pants on. 
and I'm still gonna put on the pink and black ones. Ones have um, is these ones or don'ts? These ones, ones and don'ts. I have walked in them a little while, and they seem to be fairly comfortable, so I think I'll be okay with them on. Let me go check in the mirror. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the outfit. I just need to adjust the pants. And when I say adjust them, I just mean these little things on the side right here. Cause these real army pants, like I got them from the Army Navy Circle so. So I need to bring these, bring the waist in some. Cause y'all, I done lost a couple pounds. Okay, so they're a little too big. So, I'm gonna just do one side and that should be good. But I'm also gonna try on these pink joggers. I don't know, I wore these one time. I wore these one time and I wore this, when I wore this shirt, the one time I wore it, when I went there later. The only thing about this is if I wear this, I would just put on black and white, probably my candles, because I, the pink on the pink, and I told y'all the pinks don't match, so, because the pink pants is closer to the pink shirt, so it's not the same pink of the shoes, so I definitely wouldn't put them shoes on. I would just put on, like, my black and white pandas. Um... Let me go look, be back. So y'all, I like the pink pants and the, um, the pandas better. So that's what we going with. So I just wanna lay, iron everything, lay it all out, have everything laid out. So in the morning when I get up, take me a quick little shower, do, 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 do. And, um, cause I'm, I'm, probably, I'm trying to be in the bed probably like by 12. Hey Siri, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.33 p.m. Yeah, so if I could be in the bed by 12, I could be up by 4 because we need I need to be to the airport by 5. So if I can be up by 4, out my door by 4.30, I should be to the airport by 5. I think my flight leave at like 6.30, but they didn't put pre-check on my ticket. So I need to stop and do pre-check on that. And it's another place I want to go. And so since I'm going to be in the airport, I'm going to try to see, can I check on the ticket while I'm there too, if I have time. I don't have no bags to check in, no carry-ons or nothing, so it shouldn't be that bad. So yeah, I need to be up by 4. So if I can sleep from 12 to 4, I should be good. And all I got to do is jump up and grab my stuff, do me a quick little 10-minute shower, 10-minute makeup look, 10 minutes to get dressed, and I should be good, ain't I? Okay? I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm about to take me a shower now so I can get in the bed. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Y'all, guess who up before a long fall? <sighs> That's how you can tell I'm excited. Um, it's 4 a.m. I've been up since like 3.30. So I already took a shower, did my skincare and everything. I'm about to go ahead and throw on a little light layer of makeup. <sighs> We're trying to make sure my sunscreen I had a chance to sit and do what it need to do. Um, yeah, we're about to throw on some makeup. I think I'm wearing my glasses to the airport because I know I'm going to go to sleep on the plane because I ain't really been to sleep. And then I put my contacts on once we land. That's how I think I'm going to do that. So, um, just making sure I got everything right here that I need. Um, and I put everything in the book bag last night. Everything except the camera and my cell phone. So I put them in there before I walk out the door. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this makeup on. I'm trying to be out of here by like 420. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna be doing my little makeup look. But the thing about it is I don't have on glasses. And usually I do put my contacts in first before I do my makeup. So we finna try to you know, wing it this morning. And hopefully it don't look like I'm full, okay? So basically, I just put that contour on there. Do 
only wet product I put on. So while that's doing that, you know what I could be doing? My brows. I just had to switch out my SD card real fast. I'm glad I did that before I um left for the day. So I was saying I this is the only cream product I'm gonna put on, so I have it on already. And I'ma just go ahead and do my makeup because y'all, I done did a thousand makeup videos, so I'ma just go ahead and get this done and then I'll be back. I need to get close to the mirror anyway, so. So I am dressed. I just want to put on my accessories, put my shoes on, and I'm walking out the door. So I probably will see you guys at the airport. Um, Cause yeah, I'm already running behind. Of course, I'm running behind. Got up early and still running behind. So yeah, I just want to check in. Last check in in the house. Let's go. across twice, right? Mm -hmm. They can't come over here. Well, they can't come inside the thing, can they? Okay, y'all, so we have made it to New Jersey. 
we met up with Courtney, say hey to Courtney. We have made it, we have made it, and we don't know where we're going. So we're currently, um, we met in New, flew into New Jersey, and we are trying to go to New York. So we are currently waiting on the bus or the shuttle or something to take us from New Jersey to New York. We want to go to Central Park and to see the Statue of Liberty. And we got to get New York pizza. We got to get a piece of New York pizza. We probably can get one piece of pretty thing. Just so we don't have a bunch of stuff just because we need to taste it. Um, we got to get New York pizza. And then, I don't know what else. We thought we were just going to get like a bagel or something. But then, yeah. Something to say we was in New York. Okay. So we are here. Um, it is now, what time is it? 919 our flight leave. our flight didn't get late we're supposed to leave at seven but if we got a food thing that our flights leave at like 8 8 30 now so we have about 11 hours um to run the city okay so let's see what the hell we can get into i y'all know once the bus come the bus is late y'all and the bus supposed to be at 9 15 what time is that at? it's 9 19 the bus is late the bus is late so let's start there but However, this is tight. And this is my first time in New York. Courtney has been in New York before, but not like running the city like this. So this is exciting for both of us. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm scared I'm gonna see a rat, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. Cause I've just heard so many stories about the rats in New York and I'm just afraid that a rat gonna run by my foot at any given time. Is this our bus? Cause it's flying, baby. Everything comfortable, this thing flying. No, that's not our bus. Um, I'm scared of seeing rats and I'm scared of smelling pee. Which we already smelled a little pee a little bit earlier, but yeah, so we are I, I'll keep y'all updated once the bus gets here, but yeah. That's, that's that's those are the things that's on my mind. But New Jersey looks nothing like I thought. And y'all know I just came to New Jersey, um, but not this part. Like two what's that, like two months ago, my mom's birthday? We were in New Jersey, but it was a different part. But it definitely don't look nothing like I thought New Jersey would look. I don't know what I thought New Jersey would look like look like look like uh, but it don't look like this and i'm gonna flip the camera around i'm using my phone y'all i ended up not bringing my camera because i'm my little book by it was just it was it was just too much going on trying to bring the camera too so i just didn't bring it so we are recording on my phone um and usually my phone do pretty good so that shouldn't be a problem so um it's just stuff like i can't turn it unless i turn the whole phone around to let y'all see what i'm talking about this is what it looks like when we out here waiting at I don't know what that look like, but I'm not making nothing to me. So, yeah, so. All oh, the horns so loud. Why is the horn so loud? Is this thing making the, the, the horn sound louder or is the horn really loud? The horns are really loud, y'all. Okay, so I'll let y'all know once we get on the bus and where we end up. Times Square. Girl, look at Target. Five guys. Huh? I guess we can. She's taking pictures of me vlogging. Y'all, this shit is huge. Five guys. Y'all, girl, am I supposed to be What's that? <laughs> That's capturing the real deal. 
That is, that's like, you know, it's a real deal. I, uh, y'all should have seen my picture and it was a homeless man laying in the background. We didn't know it. It's the after shit and I took the picture. So where are we going? I don't know. Um, what do we want to do? We're in Manhattan, right? Excuse me. This is Manhattan, right? Yes. Okay. Well, we don't have to. don't know what that lady said. Okay, so y'all, we are out and we are walking in Central in Times Square. Clearly, you can tell that we are um, visitors because these people walk fast as fuck, right? Um, I smell marijuana. Do you smell? It's legal here? Oh. Oh, I just smell marijuana passing me by. Can you burn marijuana from the little thing here? It just seems like it's so many places I want to go, but now I don't know. That I thought I wanted to go. And now that I'm here, I don't know where none of these places are. Are we far from the Brooklyn Bridge? Yes. How you know? Because the Brooklyn Bridge like, brings you to... I thought the Brooklyn Bridge bring you to my Manhattan. You can't walk there from here. You gotta miss the train. How you know? You ain't from here. Oh. <laughs> well, well, I want to ride in the subway. The last time I came, I stayed in Brooklyn. And we had to take like three trains to get up here. It was a long ass train ride. Oh. <laughs> How we pay for this? How we pay for this? Look. Cause we want to, I just, they just took it out. They said it's a South Ferry. Yeah. Yeah. So how we pay? Ah. Okay, where we go now? That's like to the Bronx. To Brooklyn, to Bronx. Girl. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. trying to get so what are we trying to get the to the statue of liberty friend where you going <laughs> you gotta move quick <laughs> so first of all <laughs> new york concrete jungle where dreams are made of <laughs> y'all so we just got lost that's the first thing but we almost got, I don't know, we was on the ferry, right? And everybody was getting off but us. But then we realized we were supposed to get off too. I want to take y'all, hold on, let's go through this, y'all. So do I just push it and keep walking? Yeah. Woo! Ah! It got my shoe. <laughs> he said go to Battery Park, go up here. And then we're going to go to Battery Park. So this, oh, something to go add the building. Oh yeah, where's that? They open? We could have got one and just split it. We could have got one and just split it. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Well, we're done. Donna. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? We're going to the fair. What time you booked it for? 12 o'clock. You're good. Thank you. How much is the mango? How I pay? Cash. Cash? Zen you say cash, what else? Cash. cash. You got cash out? Zen. Tap? Zen. 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 You got cash on you? Yeah, I got $20. Okay. Just hold the camera. I sent you the money for the ticket, right? Yeah. Oh, I do have that You do? There you go. I want Thai. 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 She got me on the camera, y'all. Right here. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, it's real good, y'all. It's so sweet. My God, what money when they get this from? What trees in the ain't it sweet? It's good, ain't it? Right with that tahini. Mm hmm that little spicy with the sweet. Oh, it's the real part. So y'all, we are headed to go get on the ferry and go to the Statue of Liberty. I feel like a real live New Yorker. Okay? Baby, they, when I tell you one thing about it, they selling some shit down here, okay? Everywhere you go, somebody selling something. What is she selling, hats? I want me a New York hat. Y'all, mind you, we ain't got nothing but a purse, so we ain't got nothing to put, none, nowhere to put nothing. I like these New York hats. Let's find my hat, y'all. So now we are walking to the security thing to get on the ferry to go see the Statue of Liberty. What y'all see? Well, you can see it from over here. It's over there. You see how many people in line. It's over there across the water, so you got to ride the ferry. I don't know if y'all been to New York before, but I haven't been to New York. So in case y'all can't tell, I'm very excited. Um, this is very exciting. Oh, here comes the ferry coming across right here. Full of people. I hope I don't get seasick on this damn boat. I ain't even think about that. But we are here. And I'll check in once we're on the boat. Look at this one coming. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to talking to the vlog. Oh, what's that over there? Is that where you get on the New Jersey? Oh. Yeah, see, so I, I think got the my, thing I could have got my picture from right here and been fine. Yeah, over there. You heard me? I could have got my picture from right here. Water in the background and been fine. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of people running on? Oh, they look like. You know how you be watching like Law and Order or something? Like one of the little oh, girls get yeah. kidnapped or something? Mm hmm. This is just how it be. They be out here in the park and one of them come up missing. Like you, you know. yeah, my eye, yeah, they, I couldn't. <laughs> my eyes already. For some reason, move forward, move forward, friend. Move in, move in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lots of space, lots of space. Move in, please, move in. My contact has been being real dry lately. Huh? My contact.
See it. Just a lot of bridges, ain't it? See them people standing there? Is the pedestal the part that's around the bottom right now? Huh? No. Are we going straight? You're busy. We got ice cream and I went walking to where the Statue of Liberty actually is. So there it is right there. Y'all, this place looks just like the, like the episodes of Long Water. Like, all these kids over there. I see why they get kidnapped and stuff because they just running around just everywhere. It's a bridge over there. We was trying to figure out which bridge was, I don't, it look, this used to remind me a lot of like the wire and all the seagulls. So between the wire law and order and all the shows, it look just like it look on TV. All these boats and stuff over here. I don't want to be close to that water. But yeah, so we walking over here to where the Statue of Liberty at. All the little people eye things that they be showing. They walking up to right here. What they call? These right here. You know people meet up when they meet out in public, they meet up at these. What these things call? Oh, binoculars. <laughs> Take a picture of me by the binoculars. Video so I get up there and then snap the picture. All here or on my phone? It don't matter. Girl, when she come 
Girl, say excuse me. See you unless I'm like, <laughs> stay, stay your spot. So you're free to go. I'm just going It would be nice, but they, them and them in your picture. How did you get me without nobody in it? You keep saying, come on, but they not me. Like, I want you to see there's no way for me to get it without... Okay, come over, come over, come over. Oh. I was wondering, y'all, they out there on jet skis. It's, cro it's cold, and that's a lot of fucking water. They is crazy. I was wondering what they was doing on the little cell phone. It's like a guided tour. And you listen to it through the cell phone, in the little cell phone thing, you see the whole little cell phone? Cause I was wondering why them sure had them little cell phones in their hand. Yeah, so we are walking back over here for the gift shop and the restaurant and stuff at. Oh, they got a charging station over here. We gonna charge up a little bit. And then we'll see where we're headed to next. On this little explorer trip. By Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we finally made it off of the ferry. That ferry was outside. That ferry was outside. So now we are here getting a hot dog. Can I have. Yes, my friend, they doing. Hey. What come with the combo meal? Come with the French fries. Can we have a number two? Come with me two and two kind of fries, okay? Yes. So we getting us hot dog. And oh, I want my great pencil. Mm -hmm. I was getting two hot dogs, one for me, one for you. You want sauerkraut on yours? That's because you said number three. That's your muscle in number two. Um, what you got? Ketchup, what else? Ketchup, mustard, mayo. Give me, um, ketchup on one. Mustard on the other one. Ketchup on the face? Yes. And can I have a, um, a grape panta? Grape and orange. Thank you. 
going this way looking for the S train, five train, the five like he said S. So y'all, I got something, he gave me something to right here. So y'all, we got two hot dogs and fries. We're in Manhattan, you cannot come to Manhattan and not get a Nathan's hot dog. So that's what we got. We gotta figure out where the train at, we gotta get on. And, Show the shooter. How we get to the fire train? Straight ahead. So y'all, we about to try to eat our hot dog so we can make it too, cause I don't wanna take my hot dog on the subway. So I'll be back. <laughs> so we have, we have set out to eat our hot dog. Now we're walking, we're looking for the five train. We see the pigeons from home alone. We just gotta figure out where the hell we're going. Are we on the wrong? Uh-huh. Further and further away you walk. It went from $15 to $10. Now they down to $5. Now we're going to Hot Dog Alley. 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 Hot Dog We go this way to jump the five. Utica. Hold on, y'all. I gotta pay to get on the subway. Oh, Courtney went too fast. So y'all didn't even get to see her do it. I don't know where my phone is. Hold on. Oh, I saw that on something too. Now that you're saying that. So it came up that time? Oh, tap again. Okay, so then you go through there, and now you gotta go down all these damn. Well, I guess you is going to a subway. So, <laughs> ah, everything down in the gutter. Okay, so we gotta go. All the stairs are so short or something. So I have to turn my foot to the side because my foot big. Down here. Okay, y'all, so whew, I made it. So we down here. We're going on the five to Flatbush Ave, I think. Bowling Green. Something. We headed to we headed to Brooklyn, right? We headed to Brooklyn, so we're taking this train to Brooklyn. So We're just waiting on the train to move. Yeah. Why you got something to say? That's like, so this is the four, but we're waiting on the five. And the five won't be here for 11 minutes. I don't know where Courtney going. I'm gonna think about it, they gonna be in. Very, very careful on these stairs because I don't need no mishaps, y'all. I'm talking about none. I wanna get back home the same way I got here. Whew. Girl, you, you can't help but be skinny as a dog in here because. Huh? 
You is walking upstairs, downstairs, round and round. Really? Really? Huh? Oh, it ain't no stairs, though. It's the escalator. Now we're going back up. You might need to go to the other side. So it's taking you around. You came down the stairs to go up on the other side. Okay. So now we're going back up on the escalator. Y'all, this trip is wearing me out, okay? And I probably will never have to come back to New York again. This has done it for me. This has done it. So. Now we have made it to Brooklyn. Why are these stones so light? Look how big that pool like is. Mm -hmm. They got one of the air conditioners. So we're trying to catch the B44. But we're going to Brooklyn. the B44 going to X something. It's $16 for a Well, how we get a little? Oh, call it. They don't have taxes like on the TV where you stick your arm out and be like, taxi? I don't see none. You scared to ride a bus? I just don't know which bus to get on. Well, the thing is, tell us which bus. Hold on. Are we giving up on public transportation? And we are calling us a lift because we don't know which bus to get on. And we don't want to end up in the wrong place. But this is Brooklyn. This is where we at. There's a Home Goods, a Target, a Aldi, Applebee's, Men's Warehouse over there. Baby, New York has won me down, okay? So we're waiting on our lift. How far it is? One minute. A great Toyota Camry. That's a Lexus back there. Y'all, so we're waiting on our lift because we just, we just, we giving up on public transportation. This is a lot. Like, to be a child raised here and have to learn how to catch the buses and the, the scrubways and all this shit, this is a lot. This, this is really a lot. Like, I am, this is really a lot. And he's sure ain't moving and grooving and getting around like it ain't nothing. And me, big and wrong and stressed out. So, yeah, I don't think I could, this would be somewhere that I would want to live. Yeah, it's a little too much. You got to catch the subway and catch the train and catch the, yeah, no. It's a bit much. Huh? It is a bit much. So, we are headed to, I'm headed to do a spa visit. Um with one of my um, mentees while we're here. That's where we're going right now. So I'm going to go stop by there. Then we leave that. We're planning on going back to Harlem before we head back to the airport. But we're going to see because we're still going at this place at 3 o'clock. Is, is they fighting for real? Oh yeah, they fighting. We see a fight in the middle of Brooklyn out here on the street. Yeah, we see a fight. Yeah, this is a little too much for me. Is these projects over here? But where is the Uber? Because how are we not land in the in the middle of a fight? Is this is this housing? Is these apartments that I'm looking at right here? Yeah. Let me let y'all see what they look like. I don't know if y'all can see them over there across the street, but up yeah. I would never want to stay here, y'all. I would never want to stay here. And I mean, I ain't been here nothing. I ain't been here a whole six hours. And yeah, this ain't nowhere. Yeah, this ain't for me here. I'm a down south country 
city girl. Not one of these big city little girls. It's just people just walking everywhere. It's people just moving. It's just so much happening. Like, it's so much happening. Treatments and stuff like that. This smells good. Just press from this, so we got this there, lights and stuff. Oh, this smells good. Products. Okay. Right right and as soon as um, uh, Rondell comes out, I'll introduce you to her. Okay. Um, Let's take. Yep, yeah, this is my girl Vanessa. Yeah, look at this thing. We met, what, at, the at the spot, one of the spot expos, I think. Mm -hmm. right it's before, before COVID, COVID, so 2019. Like, that's the last time I seen you. She woke up on me like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Isn't it?" Because we hadn't really been following. Oh, yeah. Check on Instagram. So when she woke, that's literally what she did. She just woke up and went. And I was like, "Isn't it?" Like, oh. I am leaving from the spa. Oh, girl, it's so many stairs. Like, oh my god. Y'all, we are headed to Apollo. So we taking some pictures and stuff and then we going home. So we're going to the Apollo Theater. So we gotta catch an Uber back to the subway station. And then we're on the subway to go to Harlem. We're gonna scroll through Harlem. We're gonna get us a piece of pizza. We're gonna get see Apollo. We're gonna take us some pictures. And then we're going back to the police. I mean, not the police station. No, we're not going to the police station now. We're not going nowhere near no police station. We're going back to the airport right here so we can go home so our lift is here so let's hop in and we'll see y'all at the next stop because we up in the house, so this ain't a subway. We're on the train now. So we have been on, at this point, we've been in two lifts, one bus, like three subways, three different subways. Well, we're going now to see, uh, we're gonna head to Harlem and we're gonna swing through there and then after that, we head to the airport. I'm tired and I'm ready to go home by a baby. When I say people don't owe me nothing, it don't owe me nothing. It don't owe me nothing, look at it, look at it. Look at it. You know, old me thing. I, I just did me back down south, okay? Because this thing has been something else. This has really been a trip today. This this is exactly what this has been a trip. But get me on back home. And yeah. We're supposed to be on this train for about 25 minutes. And then we have to get on another train for another 10 minutes. And then we'll be done. And then from there, we're going to catch a food or lift or something to the airport, I think. At this point, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, where are you going to eat the pizza? Where are you going to eat the pizza? Um, and I've been to have me a hot dog and pizza in, in New York, baby. And that's, that's it. 
That's all. What, what else do I need? What else do I need? We finally made it to Harlem. Krispy Kreme. So they got jewelry and stuff. It's been an angel. Oh, they want to have the beauty supply store. And these people packing up the. It's doing a little drizzle out here. But we are walking down. Oh, I see it. Oh. We walk into the Apollo. And then we're going to give us an Uber and go to the goddamn airport. So we stick our regular asses home. I ain't seen now pizza place. Ain't that some shit? Not one. Not one. Part of the city. Raising canes. Rainbow, baby, rainbow be everywhere. Oh, oh I need to see old neighbor. Chuck E. Cheese like that too. Like, why has Chuck E. Cheese the two story building? It go gap, put like a. And then we have the Apollo Theater. All I wanted was a piece of pizza. I ain't seen man pizza place. That's crazy. Not one. Not one. Huh? Yeah, not one. He's selling shoes too. Get my little picture here. I wish we could sell it in the sign away from the rain. Yeah, that was very underwhelming. And now we have, oh, there's a Jimmy Jazz. The Victoria Renaissance or something. What are we going for? Oh, yeah, I ain't seen no pizza place. And Planet Fitness, the way these buildings are shaped, because why is Planet Fitness in this kind of building? Chick fil A. Yeah, baby, let's call this a ride. And then I'll have your pizza at the airport or something. Yeah, no pizza. Um, Terminal A. Huh? Um, just about looking at every form of transportation. That is, we did taxis, we did Uber, we did train, we did a bus, we did a boat. All in one day. We're headed to the airport now so we can make it on back home. Eat out of the, um, see how the whole food just stored in the middle of the Oh, excuse me. I said, see how the whole food just stored in the middle of the thing? I just got out of the subway tonight, man. This man's walking on some Trader Joe's. Mm. So, yeah, I, I don't see how people live it like this. They just walk out with their groceries and things. This ain't the life for me. This ain't the life for me. Hmm. <laughs> Focus camera, focus. There we go. Y'all, we made it back home. Oh, New York don't owe me nothing, baby. Let me cross that off my list because I ain't never got to go back. <sighs> I ain't never got to go back. Y'all, I, I was finna end this vlog tonight, 
But I think I'm gonna end it in the morning so I can give y'all a recap of my whole trip. I left my house this morning, four o'clock this morning with nothing but this. Nothing but this. It is after 12. I'm just getting home. I walked in the house. I pee. I turn on the shower. I feel filthy. I feel filthy. I'm not going to end this vlog tonight because I do want to give y'all a recap of the New York trip tomorrow. So I'll end it in the morning. I'm going to take me a shower because I can't talk to y'all tonight. I am sleepy. I am tired. And all I can do is take me a shower and go to bed. So we'll pick this vlog back up in the morning. I picked up the camera literally to end the vlog. But we're going to have to do this in the morning because I need to recap everything that happened and all of that so yeah i'll see y'all in the morning oh <sighs> hey y'all so it is wednesday um may 15th i want to come back on here and do a recap of my trip um so i can go ahead and end this vlog i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this vlog up today i haven't made up my mind yet but i think i'm gonna put it up today um so basically um i decided i wanted to go to new york i've never been to new york before so it was a last minute trip found a nice decent flight um got up yesterday morning flight was at like 6 so I got up at like 3 30 got dressed got to the airport all of the things got to New York um it probably was about well actually flew into Newark New Jersey so got there it was probably about 8 30 ish so got on the bus that took me to Manhattan got to Manhattan Went on the ferry to see the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was one of the things that was on my book, on my list of things to do in New York. I wanted to see the Statue of Liberty. I wanted to ride the subway, pizza, smoke hookah, of course, um, see the Apollo. I didn't smoke hookah because we didn't have time. Like we spent so much time on the subway yesterday. I didn't get pizza either. It was like I got like airport airport pizza, but it wasn't like authentic to me New York pizza, which I don't know because I don't know what authentic New York pizza is. But I didn't get pizza like off the New York streets like I wanted to. So. If I ever go back, which that's a serious, if, if I go back, it would have to be because somebody's having an event or I'm going for a purpose, not just going to visit. Because, yeah, it ain't my skilo. It ain't my skilo. But anyway, we did the ferry thing and the whole Ellis Island um, uh, uh, Statue of Liberty thing. We left there. We caught the subway to Brooklyn. After catching the subway to Brooklyn, I went to do a spot visit with one of my, um, spa girls so i did a spa visit left there called an uber back to the subway station because you have to catch a subway and then you're supposed to get on the bus we couldn't figure out what bus to get on so we didn't worry about it we just got in an uber and called a, a little a little for uber whatever so we uber back to the subway station got bounced back on the subway and went to harlem from harlem we uh walked around we was looking for pizza and stuff couldn't find none then it was time to go it was time to go most of majority of the time we were there was spent on the subway like we were on the subway we were on the subway like you ride the subway so much new york is so overwhelming and underwhelming at the same time um i'm not gonna say i would never go back but i don't think i would never go back because what i'm going back for it's crossed off my list so this is my journey to visit all 50 states by the time I'm 50 New York just made state number 20 so I technically have been to 25 states but five of the states I've only driven through I didn't actually visit them so I'm not putting them on my list so that was state number 20 um I have another trip plan coming up next month that will be state number 21 I'm not telling y'all where yet I will do a new video about 50, 50 out of 50 and that will be number 21 this is number 20 um the states that I have previously been to I've been all up the east coast from Florida Georgia I gotta pull up a map. Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, now I have been to New Jersey and New York. So the states that I have driven through um, would be West Virginia, Virginia, West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Philadelphia, and Philadelphia, West Virginia, 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 West Virginia, Maryland, Philadelphia and um, Delaware. It's the five states that I have driven through. Remember I did that road trip with my mom to New Jersey. We drove through all those. So technically I have been from Florida to New York at this point. I am planning to go to Massachusetts and Connecticut. Um, I don't have plans for Rhode Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, none of that yet. But I do plan to do all 50 states so those will come up soon. Um, but soon I have Connecticut and Massachusetts on my list um, for that East Coast. 
Um, going west, I have been to Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, and California. So, New Mexico is the only way in that road that I haven't been to. And then going up, I've been to Nevada. Uh, I have been to... Illinois, Michigan. I think that's it. That's my 20. Seems like I'm missing somewhere, but yeah. So on the list coming up, I have Philadelphia, uh, Tennessee, Virginia, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and I think Colorado. Those are my list. Those will be like my next 10. So I'm trying to knock out. Um, but yeah, so I'm 42. So I got eight years to get this done. I really want to kind of get it done by 45. That would be that would be clutch. But we saying 50. 50 is the is the, the regular goal. 45 is the push goal. Okay. So somewhere between there, we'll get this done. So this was state number 20, New York City. Um, will I go back? It would have to be something I'm going for specifically, not just to visit, I don't think. I don't think. And I had a good time. I really did. The trip was fun. But it was just a lot. Like, I'm just getting up. It's almost 3 o'clock, y'all. My body is tight. And maybe I can't do it in a day trip. But it's like, it's so expensive to stay there. Like, the rooms was like $699 a night for a, a twin-size bed. Like, no. So, that just didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, but... I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for going on this journey with me. Y'all already know I love y'all because y'all love me. Don't forget to like and comment on the video, okay? And y'all already know how this goes. If you have not subscribed, what the hell are you waiting for? Until next time, bye. One, one, what's the 411? What's the 411? What's the 411?